Hi there, this is Jen and thank you for joining me today. Today is the um, Oso oh Inspired Collaboration. This happens on the 20th of every month and it is hosted by Crafty Owl and it's where we have an inspiration piece and we kind of put our own spin on it. And this month's inspiration piece is from the fabulous Laura Basson. She always makes such great use of color and just fabulous um, composition on her cards. And so uh, this is a fabulous inspiration piece. And to catch all of the team members pieces, you can check out the hashtag in my description as well as the title of my video. It's OSIC FEB 2023. You can also participate uh, by using the hashtag, um, hashtag I was oh so inspired. So we would love to see um, what your uh, take on these inspiration pieces is as well. So for my card today, um, I'm making this main card in the video and then I have kind of a bonus card uh, that I will uh, show kind of at the end of the video. Um, but the inspiration I took from the card is using the um, alphabet letters as well as pretty much the color scheme she's kind of kind of a more of a muted color screen color scheme than what i am doing so these are the biggest alpha dies that i have and they're really not that big they're pretty skinny um, so i've gone ahead and i've laid out the words you are and i'm taking a piece of um, it's basically non-stick wall tape by scott just pretty much the same as like your um um, I don't know what that tape is called, the, the non-permanent tape. Um, and the panel that I'm using right here is five and a half by two and three quarters. And I will end up mounting that onto a bigger panel that's six and a quarter by three and a half, which is basically a, a mini slim line card. Um, and then to kind of add to that middle space in the middle, I just took a heart die from my stash. And I really love the way that that looks just like that. Um, but <laughs> I went ahead and I wanted to add that color behind it. So I'm using my um, brush markers to go ahead and color the rainbow order onto a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And so I'm just scribbling the color on solid. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and wet that. And I'm mixing two colors and then I'll rinse and then I'll mix the next two colors and then rinse just because I don't want to bring the like red down through the entire panel of colors and so I rinse that off and get a nice clean brush and it makes those colors blend really nicely and not bleed too much and then I'm going to add a bunch of 1 8 inch foam behind the um, panel and I'm using 1 8 inch foam because it goes really well between those letters um, and I don't like to switch up different types of foam on one project just because sometimes they're not the same thickness and that can make a bumpy um, a panel. And so once I've done that, I'm just going to add that over my colored piece. And then I will adhere that to the six and a quarter by three and a half size um, a card panel. And then um, I had paused my video and then I forgot to turn it back on. And so I went ahead and I added the awesome word in um, a gold cardstock and then just adhered that or basically stacked that on the black cardstock. And then I added some sequins and that's going to finish off my card. The second card that I created, I made a really short reel on Instagram. And my Instagram is at Jen Lee Schoolcraft. So basically it's the same card. I just reversed the color. So instead of the color being on the bottom of the card, um, the color was on the top. And I would love to know which card you prefer, the first one or the second one. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and check out the rest of the team members by clicking on the hashtag uh, below. Um, and that is it for me though. I hope you enjoy it. If you did like this video or find it informative, I would love a thumbs up. As always, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to catch you next time.